do 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 <laughs> what is Shh. is that Ms. Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she still but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah. Yes. Tonight we have new poems for myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life. Out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life. You will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know <laughs> it was you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Poor Mrs. Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swim... Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark. To be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? <laughs> that's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is... Oh, go ahead. Let's see the other Dude is really worried about what fish think. That tunnel always spooks me out. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, darky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called... There's no reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> no reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has. World warehouse buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol, and painkillers. Shit, dude. Oh my god. This got so real so fast. My, replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24 7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house, in the yard. Some night, I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicone city to the ground. Whoa. Huh. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Ha. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. 
I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Ha. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Summers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. It's cool. Can we go now? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghosts? Yeah. Tell them, bae. There is some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow! I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have to work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. <laughs> is there an illegal one? <laughs> sure is. The hysterical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. Woo. I know possum jump. We used to go there in the scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. Ta-da! It's Selmers, a good poet. Thought, if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The earth. Yuppers. So, uh, you and Maude had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along? We are. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always two you like. I guess. I got your chill and her smartassness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No. We're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. Aw, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Time for a weird dream. Oh, wait. Time to talk on... Oh! Yeah! Weird cookie space. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Oh, my God. Who's this person... Like, we've never talked to them, but they're always away. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo, I looked up this historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Uh, I don't know. Thanks, Bay. I don't think me too hard. Going there anyway, it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Um, Windows, can you stop? Thanks. No, you t you're you telling it to snooze. That's why it's coming back. Thank you. Uh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? LOL. Are we not going to acknowledge that she's probably going there to visit her parents? Yeah, I don't know. Or are we just I, really I that it was unable to, like, relate to that shit? Bedtime? Yes. When was the last time we showered or changed our clothes? Those things are unnecessary. Yeah. She's not trying to get laid. It's fine. Wait, maybe she just licks herself. Yeah, I mean, she is a cat person. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, there's a weird bear. Whoa. More Whoa. bears. Floating up. Bear, 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 bear. There's probably, there might be a way to get to it. There we go. Hey, it's the fucking, it's that fucking ghost dude again. Huh. He's in all of our dreams. Smoking a pipe. Yeah, smoking a pipe, dude. He's in all of our dreams. Oh! Ah! What? How does that happen? We got duped. Everybody floating up. Oh, those are for our friends? Yeah. Um, yeah, they're the outlines of our friends, I think. Uh, 
wonder if our dreams change depending on what we did that day. Not like, you know, not like by default, but you know how we can choose who to hang out with and like yeah. what we do? Like if we didn't listen to all those poems, would we have heard that poem by What's Her Face? Oh. Like if we didn't talk to her every day, would we have like heard her poem? I don't know. I mean, it certainly wouldn't have been as funny because, um... We wouldn't know her silly poems. Yeah. Man, I wish my dreams were this cool. Mine just all have, a, like, dread. Like, oh, remember that time you fucked up? And I'm like, yeah. Remember that time you fucked up? You're gonna do it again. It's happening it's right now. It's inevitable. It's impossible. You can never Everyone's escape. Everyone's disappointed in you and you can never escape. Yeah. See? There's Bay. Bay. We did it. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Clonson Nash blah, blah. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at the work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Last night inspired me. For the longest night and I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the cemetery with Bane. Have her confront us about the fact that we're not acknowledging that their parents are dead. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you can already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with Bay. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You look really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. All right, I'm out. Bye-bye, sweetie. All right, let's go get Bay. Oh, we gotta feed the rats. Um, how long have we been recording for? An hour and forty-five minutes. Okay. Hey, Sel. Hey, Selmers. You were great last night. Aw, thanks. Having you to be. 
Having you to bounce ideas off helps. See? Mm-hmm. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. sure. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. Ahem. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. <laughs> Crying? Okay. Alligator tears, maybe? Ah. I play a mean banjo claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. No long, you know Long Black Veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willard Garden? Nope. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get some Dusk Stars. How do we get up there again? Tell me. Oh, has it been two days? They, they didn't mention that he was over there, so I guess I just... Oh, okay. No, 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 you can go over there. Didn't we? We went up there yesterday, though, right? Yeah. We gotta feed the rats. Dun, dun, dun. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. This is unfairly easy now. I like that like our hand shakes the whole time because we're like, oh my god, fucking we stealing! I'm stealing this pretzel! Pretzels! I think they're on the other side, right? Nope, this way. No, they're okay. Are you tangled in the wires? Are you AJ? It's because the side of this chair always like grabs onto it. Onto your butt? No. Is the chair abusing you? There we go! All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. I think there's even more of them now, too. Oh. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. And Stacy thought feeding the rats wasn't important. Everyone, shame on Stacy. Shame on her ha rat hate. I heard Stacy say that she hates rats and that she hopes they all die. <laughs> we have like we Fact. have like rats the size of footballs in the alley behind our house. Yeah. And do you have a problem with them? What's your problem, Stacy? Mostly just because they're dirty and not domesticated. Whatever. AG's dirty and not domesticated. Do you not love him? Yeah, because you let him scratch my leg today and it got infected and it's gonna fall off. Alright. AG got on Stacy's lap and very little sc scraped her. Just a little Do bit. Do you want to tell them why? Why what? Why he scraped my leg. Because he was excited to get on your lap. No. He was already on my lap and we were driving. And then you stepped on the brake really hard. Oh, I'm fell. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to fucking get in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. Saved your kidding. life. 
for just turning this around. Because it's all your fault. It's all Mari's fault for, <laughs> for stopping. <laughs> so she wouldn't hit a car. If you were paying attention, you wouldn't have had to slam on the rake. Oh my god. <laughs> I was paying attention. It's traffic. All right, fine. You no longer get car rides. You're taking the train home. <laughs> taking the train home. 